Hey guys, this is Mark with DisasterZone.us. Today is June 30th, 2014. Uh, the site is being updated, so I'm sorry about the delay. I'm bringing the site back up. We've got a lot to talk about with earthquakes and including uh, the tropical weather. First things first, I want to talk about the global earthquake update because we really need to talk about it and get into this uh, conversation because it looks like the frequency of the time that these earthquakes are happening are a lot shorter than they are prior to the past 10 years. So let's take a look at what's happening right now. Right now in the United States, this is the past 24 hours. So quite a bit of earthquake activity, especially in Oklahoma. Now, I wanted to point something out. Oklahoma is now starting to get earthquakes more so than normal, just like California. So they're starting to become uh, a pretty much like California, where you see a lot of earthquake activity. So let's go into that. I'm going to bring this down to the past 72 hours. And as you see here, a ton of earthquake activity up the west coast of the United States, not just in California. We're talking about other locations now. So you see these earthquakes that are happening here, these fives, these threes. L let's look at this 5.2 that occurred the other day, uh, yesterday actually, was in New Mexico. And I did that video, and I'm sorry if I made a mistake on the date, it's in 2013, but it's 2014 of course the 5.2 in Lordsburg, New Mexico. A lot of people commented, and I, I appreciate all the comments. Very, very good. Uh, and, and this is something I want to watch for, because I think the earthquakes that are happening here in Oklahoma are going to just get much worse. I hate to have to say it, but that's the way it looks like, and of course nobody's talking about it. So I'm the only one, and there's a couple of other people on YouTube that talk about this. So let's just go down to the past five days. And as you see, these are the past five days as of today. And you see these earthquakes here in Oklahoma are a ton of earthquakes right here. And this is just getting worse. A ton of earthquake activity, California being swamped with a bunch of them, of course, little ones though. But of course here, starting here in the middle here, all the way up, you, you look at these earthquakes and they're not in California. Let's just click on this 4.2 uh, earthquake here and you'll see it's a Pleasant, Utah. Mount Pleasant, Utah, that 4.2 earthquake uh, had a depth of about 3.2 miles, so that could be a possibility of fracking, it could be just a regular earthquake. But again, these earthquakes are happening in different locations now. Uh, let's look at this 4.4 here. This 4.4 earthquake was in almost Mexico. So these earthquakes are starting to happen in different locations other than California. And you're taking a look at Oklahoma, let's drop it down to the past seven days. A different set of earthquakes all over the place here in the United States. So the one thing that concerns me is earthquakes like in Tennessee, you got this 2.9 right here that occurred. And it is, this is just the past seven days, folks. Look at the entire half of the United States here just covered in earthquake activity. I wanna take you to Alaska and show you something that I'm actually worried about. Alaska has been seeing a ton of earthquake activity more than normal. And of course we had that big giant earthquake. Uh, but these earthquakes, are happening more frequent than normal. It's just like something there, there's something there. It seems like something's happening in, in Alaska. And am I the only one that's looking at it and seeing it? But I hope that a lot of people are actually watching it with me because this is a unique situation. The ring of fire is just as quiet as can be, but the earthquakes here in Alaska are just continuous. And I guess not a lot of people watch this so they don't know what's actually happening. So let's keep a watch in Alaska. I mean, this big giant earthquake here, I'm sure everybody only watched it because it occurred and it was uh, the, the little Sitkin, or Sitkin, Alaska, a little island out there, occurred off the coast. And I'm sure again, it just happened and a lot of people just started watching it. But if you watch it frequently, you'll see that these earthquakes, continuous earthquake activity happens a lot shorter than an average earthquake now. So if you actually get the, uh, uh, a smart uh, phone and you have one of those, uh, I would suggest getting an earthquake app that will show you the earthquakes uh, on your phone as they happen. Set the frequency to about a 4.0 magnitude or a 3.0 so it won't bother you all day. But if you do set it to a 3.0, you can see how many earthquake act earthquakes occur in Alaska in about a day. You get a ton of earthquake activity. So that's the main few spots. I'm talking about the United States. I mean, look at how that looks in the United States. It looks incredible. A ton of earthquake activity just in the past seven days. So I'll continue to keep you posted on that. But we have a ton of earthquake activity also around the Ring of Fire. 
but it's not as much. You see, it's pretty quiet, especially in places like Indonesia, uh, northern Australia. A lot of activity here, though, in the area of south of the Sandwich Islands region. Had a bunch of earthquakes here happen as well. So it's not as quiet, but it is it's starting to roll up a little bit, so we need to keep a close eye. But mainly, I believe the close eye that we need to keep on is here in Alaska, pretty close to Japan, and of course in the United States, our hometown. So folks, stay alert, be cool, I'll continue to watch everything for you the best I can. Thanks for watching, and have a great day.